Hello. My name is Olivia Carl, and I will be discussing uh, Bombarder Beetles. I will be going into a bit of detail about the possible causes for the evolution of their wonderful and unique defense mechanism. To start off, um, I'm going to give some information regarding what exactly are bombarder beetles. Uh, so bombarder beetles are a type of beetle, and their scientific name is Bronchianus crepitans. Uh, however, I will be referring to them by their common name, bombarder beetles. Bombarder beetles are quite versatile in terms of their habitat, as they can be found on every continent except Antarctica. However, in North America, they tend to thrive in temperate wood and grasslands. As is true for many insects, their diet changes as they develop into adulthood. Adult bombarder beetles tend to lay their eggs in decaying plant matter, which provides food for the larvae as they develop. Bombarder beetles can live as larvae up to three years. However, they only live roughly between 13 and 44 days as adults. Interestingly, once they reach adulthood, their diet changes quite drastically, as they begin to eat mostly other small and infantile insects. Although they still consume some detritus, or organic matter that comes from decomposing plants and organisms, they survive mostly on other insects. Bombarder beetles have quite a few predators, which include ants, ground foraging spiders, praying mantises, frogs, and toads. However, most of these organisms are repelled, or in some cases killed, by the bombarder beetle's very unique defense mechanism. Bombarder beetles are relatively unassuming, aside from their bright reddish-orange head. However, they are far from unremarkable. As is indicated by their name, bombarder beetles are able to essentially create mini explosions. They're able to release a mixture of hydroquinones and hydrogen peroxide, which are then ignited with paradoxase enzymes, creating somewhat of an explosion from the tip of their abdomen. This defense mechanism can be deadly to smaller predators such as ants and is used as a deterrent to larger insects and organisms. By separating the two chemicals in different chemical sacs and combining them together as they are released, the bombarder beetle is able to produce an explosion at extreme heat without harming itself. There are several other types of beetles that use, utilize hydroquinones and hydrogen peroxide as a defense mechanism in various ways. However, the bombarder beetle's use of these chemicals is extremely unique from, and from a genetic perspective baffling. So as you can see here in this video, uh, the bombarder beetle is on the left side of the screen and he's currently being attacked by um, an ant, which is one of their main predators. And here we're going to see an example of their defense mechanism um, in which they deploy sort of a, a, a bomb-like cloud of chemicals, which in turn kills or disables its predators. This defense mechanism is especially effective against toads and frogs because both toads and frogs are able to divulge anything they consume that may be toxic by essentially turning their stomachs inside out. Because of this, a large percentage of bombarder beetles that are consumed by toads actually survive if they're able to utilize their defense mechanism while inside the stomach of the toad. So here is an example of what would happen if a frog consumed a bombarder beetle and the beetle was able to release its defense mechanism while in the stomach of the frog. As you can see, the frog divulges the beetle And here is just another representation of what exactly is happening inside the frog as the bombarder beetle releases its defense mechanism, which elicits the vomiting reaction from the frog. Um, 
and as you can see, after the bombarder beetle um, is divulged from the frog, it is still alive and can continue to live a normal lifespan despite being consumed and then vomited up by the frog. This leads us to the possible evolutionary reasoning behind their incredible defense. It is theorized that this defense mechanism developed as a way to survive being consumed by toads and frogs. This is backed by a study that concluded bombarder beetles were more likely to survive in the stomach of frogs and toads for significantly longer periods than other species of beetles. Some of its relatives, the ground beetle and the tiger beetle, exhibit defense mechanisms using similar chemicals in different ways, thus leading me to believe that the bombarder's beetle's chemical features come from a distant ancestor and they evolved through selective breeding to utilize these chemicals in a more effective way against, uh, in particular, toads and frogs. Although it's impossible to determine the exact evolution of the bombarder beetle, it is very interesting to study the possible changes in their environment that cause such a change. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you're now able to appreciate these wonderful little guys as much as I do.